Hi guys, how's it going? This is Amanda from Amanda Around the Globe. Today I'm in Sydney, Australia because this is where I live now and I'm really excited to make a video Three things to do in your free time. I have 20 free things to do in your free time. These are things that I personally really like to do and I would recommend doing if you're trying to save money or if you're just trying to be a better person. Okay, tip number one is have a picnic. I love having picnics. It's so nice you get to be outside, you get to have some good company or just be by yourself with a good book and you're get to, you get to eat it's like all good things sun food books company it's all good picnics are the best also very Instagram worthy number two go to the library I always walk out of the library with like five books <laughs> next number three take a walk walking is the best walking is my favorite I love going for walks I like to bring my camera I like to take photos or I like to just listen to my audiobook. Um, I use Audible and that's amazing. If you guys use my link down below, you guys can get a free trial. This isn't sponsored, but I just really like Audible. Next tip, at home movie night. I love at home movie nights. I don't do this often enough, but I like to just have a friend over and basically just make some popcorn and watch like a ton of movies in a row. Like I'll seriously watch like two or three or four movies in a row. It's highly recommended. Next tip is an at home spa day. So this is the daytime version of the movie night. Um, a spa day is excellent. You can just get all your spa stuff out that you already have. You can have a bubble bath, you can paint your nails, you can, uh, I don't know, straighten your hair. Like do a face mask, drink a cup of tea, do some meditation, but I'm getting really into it. I want to have a spa night right now. Spa day. Spa day and movie night. That's a good idea. Next tip, I lost track of my numbers, but we're just gonna go with it. Next tip is have a good catch up with someone. Not catch up, catch up. Like you're catching up with someone. Have your friend over for dinner or go for a walk or have them come over for a morning coffee and just have a good chat. Way to improve your relationships. The next tip is clean your house. I know that everyone could probably use a little bit more time to clean and you know like just go through your house and deep clean everything. Cleaning is very therapeutic. Next tip, get to know your neighbors. This is a little bit different of a one, but um, a lot of people don't know their neighbors these days. And that's really sad because when I was growing up, I used to play with my neighbors all the time. So why don't you like make a batch of cookies or something, bring them over to your neighbors and just introduce yourself. Next tip, we're getting into a little bit more deep stuff. Start an online business. You can learn so much about starting an online business just from YouTube. You can watch marketing videos. You can watch stories of how other people created their online businesses and you can create your own online business. Not only is this free, but this is something, okay, it might cost a little bit of money to like create a website or something, but this can actually make you money and it will pay itself off. I think everyone should have a side hustle. Even if you work nine to five, you should always have some other way of making money. Yeah, look into that. Uh, the next one is start a YouTube channel or a blog. I do both of these things and I really love it. I love talking about things that I'm passionate about. I love um, helping others learn like what has helped me in my life and I get a lot of really sweet messages from people saying that I've like really impacted their life and that feels really good. Share with the world what has positively impacted your life. The next one is phone photography slash photo shoots. So why don't you take your phone and get better iPhone photography? Uh, yeah, so then the other part of that is photo shoots. Um, I really like just going out with a friend, taking photos of each other. It's really helpful for Instagram. And it's really, it's just a fun thing to do. The next tip is to cook a meal at home. Why don't you invite your friend over, invite your mom over and cook them a meal or, or learn to cook together. Have your friend over and you guys can both cook. You can make this free by just using random stuff in your house and trying to make it into a good meal, but you could use a little bit of money and go to the store and actually make a recipe. So that's not free, but if you use stuff that was already in your house, then that's kind of free. The next one is get organized. So go through your closet or your desk or anywhere in your house that's messy and organize your stuff make your life easier. Next one is clean out your closet. So if you're going through your closet, 
to get organized and you realize you have a lot of stuff, why don't you just get rid of the stuff that you don't use or that you don't need and then your life will be way more organized and way easier. Okay, the next one is stargaze. So if it's nighttime, you don't know what to do, you're a little bit bored, you don't feel like watching Netflix, you don't feel like reading a book, you don't feel like cooking, you're not hungry, why don't you go outside and look at the stars? I love looking at stars, you can search for shooting stars, you can try to find the constellations. Uh, this is a very underrated thing to do, I don't know why more people don't do this. It's awesome. Next one is tutor. So you can be an online tutor or you can be a real life tutor. I've done, I've never done online tutoring, but I've been a real life tutor. It's very fun. I used to tutor kids in algebra. If you are American and you speak English, you can teach English online. Teach English online, teach something that you're good at online. You don't have to tutor kids. You can tutor adults in something that you're good at. Okay, next one is go on a hike. Hiking is one of my favorite things to do. If you're lucky enough to live around mountains or hills, why don't you get outside, put on your runners or your joggers or your tennis shoes, whatever you call them in your country, and take a walk up a hill. Highly recommend it. Next one is volunteer. Help the world. The next one is, the last one is call your mom. This is totally free if you have phone service and I think everyone could use a good talking to with their mom a little bit more often. I try to talk to my mom as much as possible. Moms are awesome. Improve your relationships, bruh. That's my 20 things to do in your free time. 20 free things to do in your free time. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you guys would like to see next, and I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great day, bye.